We're back live for the next 25 minutes or so. Dr. Steve Pachinik, co-author with Tom Clancy, State Department, Psychological Warfare, different agencies, you name it, really smart guy, joins us because I like to get him on at least once a week for the state of the world. I don't want to make this show about ourselves, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. It makes the globalist really pathetic and freaks me out, quite frankly, that for 24 hours they ignored the big story we put out yesterday and then finally the last few hours have the new response. It's a hoax, it's not real, and we're bad people because we're now manipulating the stock market. And so this is the deep state through the Daily Beast, formerly Newsweek, trying to get the stock market not to read InfoWars. What do they think it does when they go tell them, don't read InfoWars? There was a Pentagon order after 9-11 in 2002, when I'd had Dr. Steve Pachinik on, strangely enough, it was because of him. He was in the Council on Farm Relations, helping write books with Clancy as his technical advisor. And they, they put an order out to the Marines and Army. They said, you will not listen or watch Alex Jones. Well, pretty soon the local non-commissioned officers watch it and make jokes. They get up in front of the Marines or whatever. They say, whatever you do, you don't go to Infowars.com or listen to Alex Jones. It became the big joke. So we went from maybe a million people a week. We weren't that big then. To like overnight, I was like, why do I have this Army audience, this Marine Corps audience and intelligence agencies listening? Suddenly I had all the feeds from the intelligence agencies giving me stuff. All because the intelligence agencies on top said, don't look at Alex Jones. So quite frankly, I was never that smart. I just everybody, you know, engineers and former NSA people and Dr. C. Pachinik, you know, CFR and high-level CIA, you name it, give me all the data. So it's not about me, it's about the platform. But that's what they're so scared of. Look at this headline. Bull market, I mean, bull, bull crap. And, of course, the market after $3 trillion plus from Trump and exuberance over lower taxes, real intel, people buying more, wanting to believe in it, wanting to certify it and, you know, say that, that they were backing it and hiring more people. That's what exuberance is about. It's what confidence is about. They come out and interview all these high-level stock, stock market people, and they say in here, it's true, they read InfoWars, and they saw the clip from two weeks ago of Comey saying that he believed Trump hadn't done anything wrong and that Trump never tried to influence him, and no one else did. So then the Daily Beast spins it, and this is the blueprint. Now there's a bunch of other stories doing the exact same thing that I said it was a new clip and that Comey had just come out and said Trump didn't do it. And so it was an attempt for me to manipulate the market and lie. No, that's not what I did, and they know it. They think you're stupid. Two months before, in February, he met with Trump, wrote this memo saying he tried to influence him, didn't tell the Justice Department, which itself is obstruction of justice. Then they tried to then later say that he never told him this. I was saying that he had perjured himself and that either way he was lying. So how do they fix it? They spin it and say, Jones said it was a new clip. But being fake news, it wasn't. It was two weeks old. So Comey didn't say that Trump had come out and, and never asked him for favors because he has said it now in the memo. But the memo was two months plus before that. So they think you're stupid. They think you don't see this. Well, if you're in the Darwin Awards and don't see this, you don't count. I'm sorry. People that do have time, space, continuum understanding and a context know that two months before he writes a memo saying Trump tried to obstruct justice. Two months later, May 3rd, he says he didn't. We write a story, because listeners pointed it out, our human intelligence, you the eyes and ears. Hey, Alex, was the email. Why haven't you covered this? Comey said he never tried to obstruct justice. I'm like, excuse me, I missed it. Thank you, listener. We put a big story out. We attack it. They ignore it until today. And now the talking point is it's fake. It's a fake video. Three days ago, they said it was fake that if he didn't give Comey this memo to the Justice Department, it was obstruction. But now Alberto Gonzalez has come out and said it's obstruction. So they are really getting painted into a corner. <laughs>